I'm good, I'm good. Can you split this with me? Because I don't need a drink. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Hi, guys. What is up? Welcome back to my channel. Welcome to another video. I already had a coffee this morning, but honestly, we have a long day ahead of us, so need some more caffeine just wanted to take you guys along on another random couple days this alani flavor tastes like you are biting into a peach like it i've never tasted something that's artificially peach flavor that tastes so much like a peach it's the craziest thing we had kind of a long day yesterday and last night if you want to go in my last vlog i talked a little bit more about it um, we had to take frank to the emergency vet my dog he's fine he's home all is good but yeah, we were kind of had a late night and then we got up this morning at like 6 a.m. to go pick him up and we have like late dinner plans tonight. So it's gonna be a long day. So we're drinking some energy. We're about to head out the door to go to the mall. Will needs some new pants. So I think we're gonna go to Lululemon and see if they have pants for him. And I desperately need to go to coach and get my coach bag sent out for repair i can show you guys in the car but i got it as a christmas present and the zipper messed up within like a few weeks of me having it and they have a one-year warranty on the bag so i've been needing to go to the mall to get this bag sent off to be fixed because i love the bag but the zipper broke we are gonna head out run a few errands and have ourselves a day the tampa mall is supposed to be really nice i think i've only been once and i don't even remember so we're gonna go get my bag fixed get wilson pants and then we'll see from there probably head back home this is the bag it's like the perfect shoulder bag i've shown you guys a few times but the zipper right here it had this end piece on it which stopped the zipper from unzipping completely off and it just fell off so quickly so i do want to get it fixed just while it's under warranty and so i don't have to worry about the zipper coming off i ordered franklin a new leash and harness i wanted something a little bit more minimal so let's see if this fits him. Oh, I think this goes over your head. You don't like that. Okay, over your head. Is that too tight? Yeah. Can you put two fingers under it? That's perfectly fine. You don't think like it's too tight? Mm -hmm. That feels pretty good. I got fit. I do just want to say the coach warranty thing is super nice everything you buy from them automatically gets a one-year warranty so if you're looking for like a nice leather bag or anything i think coach is a good option because i don't think their stuff is that expensive but it's still really nice and then the one-year warranty so she just sent off the bag and then she said it will be back in about six weeks and they just send it right to my house so i don't have to go back in or anything and it was super easy free one year warranty which was great highly suggest coach franklin update he's doing good he's just sleepy we've got him on i don't know anti-anxiety medicine or i don't know what it is but it calms him because they don't want him running around for the next few days he basically had bleeding in his lungs from where he got hit by the car on his left side so they watched it overnight they believe it subsided but they just don't want him like running around if he ran into something it could trigger the bleeding again so yeah he's relaxed he is on trazodone which yeah it's a sedative so he's just a sleepy boy he's sleeping it off i also know spending the night overnight in the emergency vet was probably stressful for him he's a homebody he likes to be home like a lot of us so he's sleeping that off but he's good and i'm so happy that he is home they had to shave his little legs for his IVs, my poor baby. But he is home safe and that is all that matters. We got him checked out, so he is all good. Besides going to the mall, I've just been chilling. I did get some editing done. I got up a new YouTube video. I wiped down the counters. I've just been hanging out. It is almost four o'clock, which is crazy. I need to start getting ready in about an hour. We are going into St. Pete in just a little bit. We're probably gonna leave in like two hours or so. So I'm gonna start getting ready in about an hour. I feel like I say we're going to St. Pete all the time on this channel. And if you're not from Tampa, you might not understand because when I was moving to Tampa, I had literally never heard of St. Pete until we like got here. 
but basically like you have Tampa and then about 30 to 45 minutes away is St. Pete, which is like a smaller city, but it's still a city about 30 minutes out. And then it also is like a beautiful beach town as well. So it's like a city and a small beach town. So usually if you're gonna go to the beach and you're in Tampa, that's kind of where you'll head. Usually it's that way, either that way or towards Clearwater. Yeah, so it's just a kind of a close by small beachy city that has some cool restaurants and stuff. So I feel like people in Tampa go over there a lot because it's not too far. It's like a good distance for a little weekend dinner date or something like that. I look insane because I have dry shampoo in my hair and I'm getting ready. I feel like I can finally talk about what we're doing in St. Pete tonight because by the time this vlog is up, she will know. So my best friend here in Tampa, like our best couple friends, Liv and Jared are getting engaged tonight and I'm so excited for her. I know. Like, I know she wants this. I know she's gonna be so freaking excited. And I obviously have been trying to keep it a secret, trying to throw her off a little bit. So I'm so excited. He's proposing to her at some park in St. Pete and then they're gonna go to the restaurant for dinner and then all of us are gonna be there, like all of her friends and family. So we are going to the little after engagement surprise party. I'm just so excited for so many reasons. Like I said, I know she wants this, so I know she's going to be so happy. And also just like being engaged, I don't know. It was like the craziest thing to me. Getting engaged was the most surreal feeling. It just is like the biggest love and it's the, I don't know, it's just such an amazing, feeling and i'm just so happy for them and we love them we love hanging out with them and i couldn't say anything because i know she watches some of my vlogs so obviously i wasn't gonna risk it at any point by talking about their engagement but i am so happy for them and i'm just so happy i love it I, this is such a fun time in life with everyone getting engaged and having babies and all the fun stuff that comes with that and then selfishly obviously i'm excited because i have a couple married friends but I don't have any friends that are like actively engaged, actively planning a wedding. So selfishly, I'm excited because we can talk wedding planning once she gets started. And I'll have someone I can like talk with about it because she'll be going through it as well. So yeah, it's gonna be a fun night. They're doing that at a park and then we're going to a restaurant called Sea Salt. I think they have like the back rented out or something for the party. I'm very excited. I got to be there for my best friend Crystal's engagement. We went on like a little fam vacation with them and her now husband proposed there. And yeah, it's just fun to be part of. So I am so excited for tonight. I'm so excited for Liv. She's gonna be so happy. I believe they are gonna get to the restaurant at like 7.30. I'm gonna try to get us there around seven, just to make sure we are there in plenty of time. Check, check. What? New pants. New pants we got these in. today. Look um, good. Got a little oversized Brooks Brothers shirt. I'm gonna get the shoes you bought me for two birthdays ago. You look so good. We are about to head out. It's about, right now it's saying 30 minutes, and but you never know if there's a wreck or something, it can get a little bit longer. Uh, I wish I washed my hair, but it's too late for that now, so I just crimped it. I find that it works well if it's really dirty crimped this dress i showed you guys in my last vlog but i think it came together so cute it is fashion pass of course shoes i believe are just dsw they're just these little heeled sandals which are like my go-to shoe these days is a good old heeled sandal i feel like it's the perfect beachy cute surprise engagement party fit we're headed out we just grabbed them this Thing and a bottle of wine. Kind of a last minute gift, but easy enough.
I'm actually so sad because we had the best intentions to have a little day and go to Target and make each other set like a $50 limit or something and make each other Easter baskets. And that would have been so fun because it's Easter, but Target is closed. And then I was like, okay, where else could we go? But TJ Maxx is closed, like everywhere's closed. And we didn't even really consider that fact. The only place that's open is Whole Foods, but I was like, so we would just make each other food baskets. <laughs> So I don't think we're gonna get to do that, but next year we'll know to go the day before or a few days before or whatever. And then we can present them to each other on Easter. Yep. Yeah, that was gonna be fun, but... We blew it. We blew it. <laughs> Instead, it's like almost two o'clock. We have just been doing nothing. I think we're just... I'm oh, sorry. <laughs> we have been doing nothing, but I think we're gonna try to go up to the pool. The weather is great, it's like 80 degrees. Hopefully there's some seats. A lot of times the pool gets full here really quickly, so. But first, I'm hungry, so we're making some eggs and toast. And then we're gonna head up and hopefully have a full day. We're headed to the pool. We're gonna do probably a couple hours. It's three o'clock now, so we probably have like two hours of good sunshine left. I'm just wearing this old Target suit, but I have a tan line here that I want to go away, so. And then just got my normal beach bag that I always bring. I got these bags off Etsy for Crystal's Bachelorette that we did in Fort Lauderdale. I got these for all the girls and I love mine. I hope they still use theirs. I wanted to get them stuff that they could use. I didn't want to get them a bunch of stuff that said bridesmaid on it or whatever. So I made sure none of it said like bridesmaid. Everything I got them had their name on it which I think is a good tip for anyone who's doing like wedding stuff. Stuff with their name on it is just better because they can use it more long-term than getting them a bunch of stuff that says bridesmaid or even bride. Like I think names are just better long-term. The pool was so nice. I actually needed that. I love the sun. Like I love just a little sun kiss. But honestly, we are so bored. We've been bored. Like I told you guys in my last vlog, I've just been bored lately. So I think we're gonna go to the grocery store just to kind of do something. Fresh Market is open and Whole Foods is open. So I think we're gonna start with Fresh Market and then if we want, we're gonna pop into Whole Foods as well and just get out of the house, go do something. We spent like an hour and a half at the pool and yeah, we just want to go get out of the house and do something. I kind of want another Owala cup. So if we go to Whole Foods, I might get one. But we're just going to have ourselves a fun little afternoon. One of my tires is looking a little flat. So we are putting air in it. Adult things. Hoping that it's not actually flat and that it just needs air. So we'll see. Sounds of Tampa, those are the cruise ships, which are right there. Okay, we got a couple things from Fresh Market and then we got a couple things from Whole Foods. I noticed, I felt like Fresh Market had more niche items like the True Fru and that Slingshot Coffee. I regret not getting both of those because I thought Whole Foods would have them, but they didn't. But I got another cup to add to my collection. I'm gonna go home and clean out my cups, kind of see what's going on. Take inventory. Yeah. <laughs> but I have a 24 ounce Awala and it's my favorite cup. I love it because it's spill proof. So I really wanted a 40 ounce, not a necessity, but she's cute. We're both really hungry, but we won't be home for a minute to eat. So I got some mochi for us to try. Do you want to try the mango or the double chocolate? Chocolate. First? <laughs> Will's never had mochi. I don't know if I'm saying it right. Do you think it's mochi or mo mochi? Mochi? <laughs> I think it's mochi. Could be wrong. I don't really know what mochi is, but it's basically dough, I think. Premium no ice cream here. and sweet rice dough. Are you jealous? Mm. I like 
bit. I love that. That was good. I'm surprised you've never had it before because you like, he loves like Asian culture, Asian food. I'm pretty sure it's an Asian dessert. I think it's Japanese. Okay, next we got mango. Looks good. Which one do you like better? I think I like them better, honestly. I like them both evenly. I cannot decide. I like the mango. Did not think I would. But... What is that? I'm about to get our dinner started. We're gonna do buffalo chicken wraps, which I've shown before in a previous vlog. They're really easy. Just chicken, cold slaw, blue cheese, and wrap. Wrap it all together. That's what we are about to do for dinner. We were only out there for like an hour and a half, but I definitely got some color, which we love. It is getting pretty late. It's like nine almost. So I'm just getting ready for bed, doing my skincare. Something that I have fallen off of, I feel like I go in waves with everything, keeping up with stuff, but I was on a really good wave with the gua sha for a while. It's like a lymphatic drainage device and I want to start using it again. I find that I tend to rush through my skincare routines morning and night. Like I just slap it on as quick as possible to get out the bathroom basically and either get in bed or get to work. And I want to be more intentional with it. And the gua sha is part of that. Like I haven't been doing it because it takes time. I'm gonna try to break it out. Like there's no rush, I'm just going to bed. There's no rush to go get out of the bathroom. So I can take three minutes at night to go asha. It's supposed to basically, like I said, it's lymphatic draining and it's supposed to sculpt your face. So I really try to focus it on like my jawline, but you're supposed to do it all over. I cannot even make that up. So much for that. <laughs> anyway, so much for that. I guess I'll have to get a new one. In the same boat, I wanna ice roll more in the mornings. Just take more time with my skincare. I feel like we had a pretty busy day. Not busy, but full, like we did a lot. So it was a good Sunday, but I don't feel ready for the work week. So after I finish this, I want to sit down and kind of look at my calendar and stuff for tomorrow and get a little bit more of a plan for the work week. Let me know if you've watched this far in the video. Let me know your favorite moisturizer. I'm open to drugstore or more high-end. Moisturizer is like my one thing that I have to use every morning and night. I prefer like a lighter moisturizer because I use the same one morning and night. So sometimes it does need to go under my makeup. So I don't like something super heavy or greasy. But let me know. I need some recommendations. I also don't really like strong scents. So I'm kind of picky. But I'm running out of this one which was sent to me and... I used it up, but I don't love the scent, so I'm not going to repurchase, but I need a new one. So I've been considering, I know the Kiehl's one is really popular, and I know the First Aid Beauty one is really popular. So I thought about getting sample sizes of both of those to see if I like them before purchasing like a full size. But if there's any others that anyone swears by... I am open because I don't have like a holy grail moisturizer and I would love to find one that I can just stick with long term. Okay, I'm here at my desk so that I can look at my calendar and see what 
we have going on this coming up week. Should be a pretty good week. I don't have a lot of meetings. I do have a Friday deadline for something with work. So that's something I'll have to keep in mind all week. And then I also am starting a new project this week. So kind of a couple things going on, but it's not meeting heavy. It's more heads down work heavy. And then I tried to get into a workout class tomorrow, but I believe I was waitlisted. I'm first on the waitlist, so I'm kind of hopeful that I'm gonna get in, if I'm being honest, because earlier I was third on the waitlist and now I'm first, so that makes me think I'm gonna get in. So I think I'm gonna write it down as if I'm going to manifest it. I'm gonna write it on my to-do list, like I have a 5.30 workout class. So tomorrow is Monday, April 1st. I love when the first of the month falls on a Monday. I'm also gonna start a week in my life vlog tomorrow, which those are the videos that do the best on my channel. Those are y'all's favorites, so I try to do one once a month. That's the most realistic for me since I post twice a week. If I posted once a week, it would be easier to do week in my life, but because I do post twice a week, it's easier to break the vlogs up. But so week in my life, we're gonna start that tomorrow. I have a 10 a.m. work meeting. I'm gonna write 5.30 p.m. workout class. I'm gonna put editing because I'm gonna try to get this vlog that you're currently watching uploaded. And yeah, that is my to-do list. With that being said, I'm gonna go ahead and end off this vlog since I will see you guys tomorrow. So you're not gonna miss anything. It is 9.18, so I would like to be lights off asleep in 45 minutes. Thank you guys as always for being here and thank you so much for watching. I will see you so very soon in my next video.